I give the floor to the World Evangelical Alliance. The World Evangelical Alliance welcomes the report of the Special Rapporteur and her recommendations. We especially welcome the acknowledgement that ideological and identity-based information has fomented violence and discrimination against minorities. In India, since 2014, the rise of Hindutva nationalism has translated into exclusion and calls for discrimination against religious minorities, such as Muslims and Christians. This information on social media is rife and used to further stigmatize religious minorities. In dozens of incidents, Christians are clearly identified in videos and photos online and accused of religious conversion activities. As of March 2020, this information triggered rumors that Muslims were intentionally infected Hindus with COVID-19. In Nepal, in April of this year, a falsified document attributed to our Christian member appeared to a, on a Hindu nationalist, nationalist leader's Facebook account, went viral and was used to justify the months that registration of Christian charities be cancelled. Such disinformation incidents take place in a context of increased harassment of Christians following the enactment of a new criminal code in 2017 that has legitimized the mistreatment of police and the by the police and the judiciary. We would like to ask the special rapporteur how can her mandate prompt states to take a more swift uh, action against disinformation attacks on minorities while ensuring the freedom of expression?